the camera angle zooming around like this and you can get a better view of the Wraith Lord swinging a sword like that. That's, that's awesome. Hope you guys agree. Anyway, the Eldar have taken the entire middle line of the map. So that's that's most of the victory points and, uh, and uh, uh, requisition points. Unfortunately, some of them are grayed out. I haven't actually taken out all of the uh, the requisition points. It's, it's crucially the, the victory points which have been taken, but looks like uh, the Space Marines have recaptured one of them uh, at the 6 o'clock. But now I've got some warp spiders, so that'll make it a lot easy, more easy for me to... A lot more easy. A lot easier. A lot easier. A lot more simple. Things should be should be fine now. Just uh, cluttering myself with various phrases and words. The Assault Marines down at the 6th position getting crashed now by warp spiders and uh, the Wraith Lord. And the warp spiders can just j chase after them quite easily. Yeah, just jumping straight into their, their path and uh, a second jump out if, if necessary, if they were to stay around. If, if they were to engage me in close combat, I would just jump again. But uh, as it stands, the Assault Marines have to run away. They're very durable, Space Marines are. Very, very tough. And uh, Apothecary in the... Uh, looks like the, uh, the the 12 o'clock position, decapturing that victory point. Things going well. Uh, looks like we've got a rocket launcher here finally, so that's going to hopefully take down the... Hopefully for the Space Marines, it will take down the, uh, the Wraith Lord. But that rocket launcher won't be enough to deal with the warp spiders, which could be a problem for the space marines later on. In the meantime, the Wraith Lord actually trashing this uh, this power node over here, and this is a very important power node because it's got all the power generators next to it for the space marines. And uh, with warp spiders coming in with an X arch here, uh, they should be able to take out the the assault marines fairly well, and just teleporting into cover there. The assault marines having to return, and in the meantime, looks like Apothecary going to take out this uh, requisition point. And uh, need to bring in some kind of a unit here to decapture that power node. Hopefully the warp side will be able to do it. In the meantime, the looks like the uh, the warlock is going to cap the point there, and the Wraithlord is going to trash these power generators. Now, um, one thing that I can't really remember how it works is whether you actually get control of those power generators if you've taken a power node, if you capture it, how it works. I'll have to look into that later. Don't bother posting comments telling me how to do it in the forums. Um, all I have to do is just check up the next game, and I'll know. But uh, for this particular game, I wasn't quite sure. Oof, man, this is uh, this is entertaining stuff. Well, rocket launcher, sergeant, squad looks like it's ready for action. In the meantime, they're just uh, doing some victory points capture. Looks good. Uh, the uh, the victory conditions have, have uh, are not quite even yet. The Eldar are still in the lead. And there are many more battles to fight in this game. I feel like a big battle is, is, is on its way. Or at least a few more skirmishes. The Wraith Lord's still alive uh, in the background there. And Warp Spiders getting to position. Once again, the Space Marines are forced to retreat. So things looking really good. The Warlock is in support as well. And yeah, one thing about Dawn of War 2 is you just can't chase them into their base to attack them while they're falling back. It'd be, it'd be kind of interesting if you could do that. It'd, it'd force them to run away and uh, and bring re bring troops back. I, I think that would be a better way to do it. But as it stands, uh, your home base has got two turrets left. Um, really, those turrets should be something you have to invest in, in my opinion. They're too powerful and they're, they're free, which is silly. But the Apothecary has been laid low, which uh, which is fortunate for me. Uh, unfortunately for Lorag Picker, he just charged straight into a crossfire of, of Warp Spiders and uh, Shuriken Cannon on the, the Wraith Lord, and the Warlock there was there to greet him. And with two Wraith uh, War Spider squads out in the field, everything's just getting decimated. So really liking how this is going for the Eldar. Looks like uh, things are secure. The Space Marines have taken back a lot of points in the meantime, but uh, that won't be hard for the Eldar to, to gain back. And it looks like in the background there, the, the Space Marines are taking back that power node. I think that's something they needed to do. Power gets a bit more important later on in the game, because you need to uh, invest in the technology. Really, he should be getting some vehicles of his own. That would be the way to go because the troops that I've got haven't really uh, got any anti-vehicle stuff among them. And uh, rocket launcher team, the, the warlock immediately spots that, and with the warlock actually attacking the rocket launcher team, they won't be um, free to actually kill the the wraith lord. So potentially, I could bring the wraith lord in support. But uh, wow, <laughs> didn't see that coming. Sergeant just uh, crushes the warlock like that. So wow, that's space marines for you. Now the wraith lord shows up. The rocket launcher uh, is 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 there, but he's capturing a point. So. What he wants to do is actually set that up and, and get a shot off, but looks like it's too late. The, the damage has already been done. The, the, the squads were forced to pull back. The Warp Spiders are in the background too, teleporting through and actually getting some revenge of that fallen Warlock. And that, that squad is forced to retreat. That uh, that rocket launcher doing nothing there. Unfortunately, the Apothecary is still on the ground as well. But looks that like a drop pod has landed on the battlefield. That was cool. Didn't see that coming. 
Uh, got to save up for that Warlock in the meantime, but uh, for now, he's got another Tactical Squad in the field, which I've got to try and deal with. Uh, I've lost the Warp Spider there, but just in general, these Warp Spiders do too much damage for the, uh, with the, the Wraith Lord supporting. Too much damage here from the Eldar to deal with this. And just teleporting behind the cover here, uh, spraying fire onto the Heavy Bolter, and uh, hopefully this should be enough to actually get rid of these Space Marines. Oh, will it? These guys are very durable. Ah, they're, they're pulling back now. There's the Wraith Lord, uh, pummeling them in the background. Great squad, these Warp Spiders. Just like they were in, uh, well, not just like they were in Dawn of War 2 and Soulstorm and so forth. And by the way, here's the Warlock back again. Looks good. That guy's got a plasma gun, but it looks that's kind of cool. But the Warlock just just ushering everybody back to their base. And, oh, oh, did you see that explosion? That was awesome. I've never seen that in this game before. Wow, he used something on that uh, that sergeant to pop him. And in the meantime, we've got Guardians hidden on this building, just ready to ambush these uh, Salt Marines that were running past. That was kind of cool. And uh, Assault Marines are heading straight over to the Victory Point because the uh, the Space Marines are very low on Victory Points right now, under 100, so the game is slipping away from Laragpica, uh, unfortunately, and I'm managing to take this one. Um, thanks, by the way, to Laragpica for letting me post this. We do acknowledge that this wasn't his best game. Uh, he did beat me with Tyrannus as well, so just uh, bear that in mind, guys. Uh, we've got a large, large amount of reinforced Space Marine squads heading out now, so this could be quite a, a powerful battle force to contend with the Salt Marines charging away and breaking down some walls while they're at it. The Wraith Lord in tow. But again, like, Laragpik has got to do something about these victory points right now because he's down to about 53, 51 now, victory points left, and uh, that's just... Oh, well, here we go. This is, this is where the action's going to be. We've got a huge column of Space Marines moving into these War Spiders. War Spiders getting shot down very quickly. Man, that's a lot of damage they're taking there. Upgraded Space Marines and actually knocking out the whole War Spider squad. But the second War Spider squad is, is coming in defense. So that's going to slow the Marines down a bit when they try and take that victory condition, uh, victory point. And uh, teleporting out now because they just can't stand against that, that combined uh, group of Space Marines there. Look, I've got a drop pod there, which I'm not sure if it does anything, but it, it is targetable, as you can see here. But uh, unfortunately, the War Spot has really got, got at, 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 at the run. That appears to be the end of the game. We've got uh, a zero, zero victory points there for Laragpika, so Vol has won this. Thanks, guys, for watching. Thanks, Laragpika, for letting me post this. And I hope you guys are enjoying.